Hi, welcome on my solar system. Ctrl Alt T, shortcut I've made, just to show you guys what we are on at the moment. So, no kernel updates or anything, but uh, we're in one two two one two one Shannon, and I went back from ZSH back to Bash. I do have a specific kind of arc theme, crimson, crimson meaning more like red, pinkish kind of, and the Sadimono Coloro Polo, but this is not correct. The elements, the screen fetch does not really know, Ctrl H does not really know what's happening. So it's not this kind of Sadimono Coloro Polo, this, it looks slightly different. So, um, switch fetch just gets the wrong information. So you should get a uh, look at the Raven panel. This is what they call the Raven panel. And it's for looking at the uh, sadly Arc Red Dark and not Arc Dark Crimson as well. So information is uh, not correct in screen fetch. Will probably be updated on one of these days. So screen fetch, um, that's done. We're looking at uh, the reworked, and I have here two A4 pages. I don't know, about 20 icons or so, including links and all that. So everything has been fixed, so that's all the software, all the third party. And let's take a look, the third party elements. So this is looking normal. Updates, it keeps loading, so I'm gonna, not gonna wait. All these icons have been fixed, so there were four or so, three, four icons that needed and a new icon for TeamSpeak 3. So everything looks the way it's supposed to look. Software center. If you go down, deeper down, we should wait a little bit, I think, uh, what the future will bring. I would uh, neglect all these icons here, they're too small anyway or you make it a bigger icon and you give it something but then we should know what this naming should be so we don't know what it is so we can't fix it here so I'm gonna restrict myself to the top level here and um, wait what the future will bring us um, so that's that we have the third party that's the most important thing I, I think that everything is in order here and then you just go and, and install the things you like from here in the meantime, I have my script that installs everything, the ultimate solos on GitHub Eric Dubois. It's going to install all the software, also the third party software. Uh, there's a lot of third party software that has no, um, that has a hard coded icon inside of it. So I've included these lines to make sure that the hard coded icon, as you can see here, is then uh, replaced with PyCharm. It has been reported on the Fogalong uh, website of GitHub where the probably in the future it will be fixed with his uh, program. In the meantime, we have our own program to fix these hard-coded icons. Then, let's go over more. What would we do? So, the accessories, let's see the accessories. Let's have a look. This is what's inside. This is new. Uh, that's it. Um, education, this is new. The Mendeley desktop. Pixel Luvo is new. Telegram, Discord, Friends are all Slack are all programs. Kaya Dropbox, all programs that are coming from this distro Solus. So they are created or manipulated. Spider Oak 1 is new. Synology is new. Fiber, I think, was fixed. This was not new. Money Dance is new. Um, Scrivener is new. Git Kraken is new. Android Studio was available. The link was not available, I think. Idea icon was there. Had to be fixed. It's like these hard coded uh, links or just a link that's missing. That's another name. C Line is new. Data Grip is new, Ruby Mine is new, PHP Storm is new, WebStorm is new, Ocean, uh, o Ocean, Ocean Audio, I don't know how to pronounce it, Bitwig Studio is new. Okay, this is all normal. 
system tools is not new. Uh, nothing new here. TeamSpeak is new. Plex Media Manager just a link that I make. So it's stuff like that. So um, we could change via the Raven element, which is here, which is here, and then change to, for instance, Sardi Flexible. It's a good way for me to check if everything is in order. This will not, not change since I'm recording. That's normal. But uh, these icons should all be as blue as hell. That's how we check it. And you can also go to the applications. These are all icons that have been checked and double checked. Everything should be in order. But um, depending on what you do, of course. So the icons have been made. So if there is still a hard coded icon inside the system, you just go to the element, right mouse click, open with other applications, sublime text, click it make sure that the icon has, does not have any uh, path-like opts with an atom, etc, etc. So, not possible. The only thing we need is a name, no PNG, no SFG. That's what we need. And if the icon exists in the Sardi or in the Surfen icon theme, then it's okay. Speaking of the Surfen icon theme, let's maybe first check one more, the Momo. Also a great test, put that here, if everything is mono then we know we're successful, if everything is circular then we know it's okay, and now we can go and move to our surfing, and here everything is whatever it is, doesn't care, this icon theme is colorful, it's uh, without restrictions, you can change, you can add any icon to it and it will look great like the sea lion for instance. There's a nice little uh, icon, but um, friends and stuff like that. So it's possible to add anything here, really, like search and indexing. Any format is possible. TeamSpeak, I put it in a, I don't know, how do you call it, hexagon or five, five corners. It's an LG, a new one. So in the meantime, the icons have been created as well for uh, surfing when I was working on the study icons. So those elements should also look quite nice in the system. Every program should have an icon and also in our little software center everything should look okay and when we go to the third party everything should look okay there as well and it does. So fine. So that's my little uh, review. Solus has now all the icons I need and I want. Everything is available for uh, Solus 1 to 1 and in other movies we'll talk more about the Solus system. In this movie we're just showing you guys what software there is and if idle icons are okay.